kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my another video tutorial and in this video we are going to continue from where we had left. So this is the register user uh, function that we have used and now what we are going to do is first of all we are going to fetch the input that the user has uh, inputted. So first of all we have to fetch the uh, name, email and the password of the user. So we have this string and we take it name equal to ed edit text name dot get text dot to string then we have the email so similarly for the email we can fetch it like this and then we will have the password as edit text password dot get text dot to string all right guys so we have the name email and the password so now we can check if they are empty or not so for this we have the text utils class and we can say it like if text utils dot is empty so if it's empty and here we have to write the name or i think yes name and or the text utils dot is empty and here we have to write the email so if if they are empty or i think we should also include the password as well so here we can say it like text utils dot is empty and here we can check like the password and so there we can now say that input cannot be blank and then we can say text and because for this we have to use return and if everything is fine and also we can check else if and inside this else if we can check if the password length is less than six then we can also need to show the error to, to the user so there we can say if enter password is dot length is less than six and similarly i will just copy these both lines and here we can say like the password cannot be less than six characters password must be greater than six characters okay and then after all these uh, conditions are met so there we can simply simply say like okay so now we need to display the progress bar to the user so we can say progress bar dot set visibility and we say visible view dot visible and then we write a function for the registration of the user so we use the register function and in here we pass on the name then we pass on the email and we pass on the password as well so now we are going to create this register activity i mean the register function and inside this register function we are first of all we have to use the firebase auth function and we use the auth dot create user with email and password and here we have the email and password and we write add on copy listener and we have the new on complete listener so guys inside this here we can check if the task is successful then we can show the message to the user so here first of all we have to assign the fb user object here and we assign it like this fb user equal to auth dot get current user okay and after this we are going to write the code to insert the data into the firebase database so in order to send the data to the firebase database all we have to do is we need to use the database reference class so for this first of all here we create the database reference we create the database reference here and we write db ref and then we are going to use the db ref equal to and we can say firebase database dot get instance 
dot get reference dot child in here we have to write users so the users will be the node of the user and inside this users we are going to store all the user ids and inside that inside those user ids we are going to input uh, store all the uh, all the user information so for this what we are going to do is first of all here we just store because we do not know the current user id here so what we do is here after uh, fb equal to uh, auth dot get current user so now we are going to write so here we can say db ref equal to or i think that we okay so here we can simply say dbref dot child and here we can say like fp user dot get user id all right so after this we are going to use the hash map to input the value so here we can say hash map and here first of all we need to use post string then we can say hash map equal to new hash map so after this hash map we can now put some values so first of all we will put the id so we say fp user dot get user id then we are going to write the email so we can say like hash map dot put and here we will have the email so we can just write email then we have the like email after this we have the name of the user so we write the name then we have the image url so because we will include it in our last part of parts of our video series so here right now i will include it like this hash map dot put and here we can write image url and it will be by it by default and then we can use the status to show it either it's online or offline so here we can use hash map dot put here we can see status and it's offline all right and finally we can use uh, we can we, we will add another uh, uh, functionality in our app and that will be for the search so here we use this search so for this we can see hash map dot put search and here we can see name dot to lowercase all right so after we ha have done adding all those values inside our hash map so we are going to uh, write dbref dot set value and inside see this set value we have to pass on our hash map and here we can say add on complete listener new on complete listener and here we are going to write if the task is successful <laughs> and before that we need to uh, we need to stop the progress part so here we can say progress part dot set visibility and we can say view dot gone and now here we can check if the task is successful so here we can now if the task is successful we can open our home screen activity so this here we can say intent intent equal to new intent and here we can say register activity dot this then we have to open our home screen activity dot class then we can say intent dot add flags then we have the intent dot flag activity clear task and we have to use intent dot flag activity new task all right and finally we can say start activity and here we have to pass on our intent and finally we need to finish it all right so after it's finished and here if the it's not successful then we can just print a message to the user that they could not create the user so we can simply say toast dot make text and here we have to write register activity dot this and finally we can show could not create user and here we can just say print a toast message and after this like if the task is above task is not successful so here you can see if that task is unsuccessful then we also need to 
pass on the inside our S part. So we also have to show the toast message. So for this, first of all, we will just close our progress dialog. So for this, we can say view dot gone. Then we can just need to write toast dot get make text register activity dot this, and we have user already exists. and show so all right guys or we can also show the message that user could not be logged in all right so guys i think that is now enough for our, this part of the video so guys if you i think now the user is able to log in as well as the user is able to create his account and then after creating the account he is on the home screen of the activity so guys in the next part of the video series we will just test out all the these these two functions the functionalities of the login and the register so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye